Hello everyone, in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how you can manage your leads for your painting and home service business so that you can get the most out of them and make the most money. My name is Caleb and I run a marketing agency, Torify, right here, that specializes in doing marketing for painting businesses. So I have a very, very unique insight. I get to see the successful painting businesses and the ones that are not. And let me tell you, lead management is one of the biggest, biggest things here. So I'm gonna give you guys some key points that you can use, take away, so that you can manage those leads better and effectively make more money. Full transparency here, I want you to watch our videos, learn as much as you can about growing your painting business, get really, really good at managing all of your leads, be successful, grow, and once you're at at least $250,000 a year, partner with us so that we can get you even more leads and grow you exponentially better. But you gotta learn how to manage your leads first. If you don't do that, you're never gonna get to you know a half a million or a million a year to start. Lead management is so, so, so important. Even if you can get a little bit better, that will help you down the line, your numbers will look so, so much better. I'll explain a little bit more about that, but I broke this down into six key takeaways for you. Number one, track your leads. Use a CRM. There are a lot of different CRMs out there. You can use drip jobs, you can use high level, uh, paint scout, all these different ones that you can use. Some of them, you know, for example, like drip jobs, are made specifically for painting companies. But for the sake of this video, I don't care what you use. You know, we have a partnership with drip jobs and we also use high level for some of our clients. But that's not the point I'm trying to make right now. The point is, is that you need to track your leads. You will never know how much money you're making, where your best sources of leads are, how to improve if you're not tracking. Let's say uh, you get 50% of your business from Google, 40% uh, from Facebook, and then 10% from referrals. You would never know that if you don't track those leads. And I can guarantee you that if you're not tracking those leads, if you, you don't have a list of how many people you need to contact, how many jobs you need to go to, how many estimates you have booked and so on, like you do in a CRM, I can guarantee you that you are missing out on opportunities, you're forgetting to call someone back, you're uh, forgetting about something or another and you're letting leads slip through the cracks. A CRM and tracking your business, which is what this is, is going to be the first step at understanding what's going on and squeezing the absolute most out of those leads. I don't care which platform you use, just track your leads in a CRM. This is also going to give you not just reminders and a snapshot view of your business, but it'll also break down those numbers for you so that you can make better decisions and understand what the heck is going on. For example, let's say you get 100 leads a month out of those, 50% of those get booked into appointments, but only 10% of those appointments get closed. If you weren't tracking those leads, you probably wouldn't know that. But if you look at your CRM, if you look at those metrics, you can understand, hey, half of these people are getting into appointments, which is pretty good, but only 10% of those appointments are closing. Maybe I need to work on my sales skills, or maybe I need to train my sales team a little bit better. Which one of my salesmen is performing the best? These are all things that you will learn and you will know when you are using a CRM. Number two is going to be speed. Speed to lead. As soon as those leads come in, you need to call them ASAP. This is not a joke and I'm, you know, yelling this, I'm being I'm stressing this because it's very important. Speed is so insanely important. If somebody finds your business on Google and they call you and you don't answer, they're not going to wait around for you to call them back. They're probably just going to call the next person on the list. And if you didn't pick up the phone, you lost that job and you lost that lead. Same thing with Facebook. If you get leads that come in and your office manager or your appointment setter doesn't call them right away, they probably either already forgot about you, aren't interested anymore, or found somebody else to do the work. Money loves speed, wealth loves time, and poverty loves indecision. Speed is also important, not just on speed to lead, but the overall process. For example, we notice that when there's a very short amount of time between somebody reaching out 
to when that person goes to the estimate, they're more likely to close and they're more likely to actually complete that estimate. Let's say somebody uh, calls your business and they want you to come look at a job. If you come there uh, tomorrow, the next day, or even later that day, you're more likely to close the job than if you go visit a month later. The excitement's gone and maybe they found somebody else to do it. Number three, it's going to be follow-up. Most people we see do not follow up at all or don't follow up enough. I would recommend following up with somebody between five and 10 times. A couple phone calls, some SMS, and some emails. People are super, super, super busy. Follow up is so important. If you're not following up with your leads, either before the estimate or after the estimate's complete, you are absolutely leaving money on the table. In this follow up, the goal is to get that person to a yes, or to a no. Through all of the sales training that I've been to, that's a big, big thing. When you're in a sales call, getting somebody to a yes or to a no, that's what's really important. You know, you help them make a decision. You don't want your estimates to end up in I'll think about it world. That's not where we want them to be. You know, we understand that, you know, a big decision, a big financial decision can take time. You know, if it's a $25,000 job, a lot of people can't just commit to that right on the spot and that's okay. But the point of the follow-up is to get people to kind of that yes or no decision. Number four is going to be long-term email nurturing. So what this is, is this is an email that goes out every other week, every month, something like that, that goes to all the people on your list, all of your contacts for your business. You know, if there's 500, 1,000, 6,000, whatever. Just to remind these people that you exist, keep you in front of mind and it just acts as a nice small touch point to either send them to your website or reignite some sort of a sales conversation. Just like posting on Instagram, posting on Facebook, stuff like that, it's nice to remind people that you exist and remind them of what your business is offering. Now the fifth recommendation that I have on how to get the most out of your leads for your painting business is going to be getting either an appointment setter, a team of appointment setters, like a service that we offer for some of our clients, or bringing some sort of secretary in-house. If you're the business owner right now and you're calling all of your leads, you're running around to different jobs, you're busy doing different things, you're picking up supplies, you're going to the store, you're talking with your team, you're talking with clients, and it's and realistically, you probably don't have a whole lot of time to call new leads and talk to new leads to get them into appointments for you. I highly recommend having a dedicated person that deals with qualifying those leads, booking them into estimates for you. That's exactly why we started offering that as an extension to our marketing services for our clients. Because we noticed that a lot of the times, if they're like a mid-sized painting company, the business owner is still very busy, running back and forth to jobs, and maybe they don't have a full-time dedicated person in office to call all the leads and handle them properly. So that's why I highly recommend having someone, I don't care if you use our services or not, but what I'm trying to say here is that if you have an appointment setter or secretary, that's gonna make your life a whole lot easier and also you are going to get a lot more out of those leads because there is somebody who's dedicated to managing them and getting you into that sales scenario. Now, the sixth recommendation that I have is going to be building relationships and working on your sales skills. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how many leads you get, doesn't matter how many appointments you set, if you can't close the deal, you're not gonna get a positive return on investment on any of that, and you're just not gonna be happy with your business. This is something that I started doing internally and focusing on a lot as well, is building relationships with clients, building relationships with people, and getting better at closing those deals. And the numbers on this do not lie. Let's say you go to 100 estimates and you only close 10% of those. Every 10, you only close one. So you're closing 10 out of 100 estimates at a 10% closing ratio. If you can even bump that up to 15%, if you can add 5%, if you can get 5% better, that number will bring you, in this scenario, five more jobs. At an average cost of 5,000 each, that's $25,000 more in your pocket. Even if you can increase your closing ratio 
just a tiny, tiny bit, your business and your wallet will feel the effects. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that this video has helped you learn from our experience and from our clients' experience how to get the absolute most out of your painting business's leads. What we do for our clients is we help to generate the high quality leads for them. We qualify the leads over the phone with our appointment setters and we book them right into an estimate for our clients so that all they have to do is show up and close the job. If that sounds like something that would be helpful to you and your business, click on the link below, take a look at our webpage, and if you like what you see, book a call so that you and I can get into a conversation and see what that would look like for you. I hope this video was valuable to you all. If it was, make sure to smash that like button and leave a comment on this video. That's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you in the next one.